Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading. A reading. Excuse me, not a co-reading, a reading. This is a collective, though. That's what I was confusing. Um, no gender or age here, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have, or pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Guys, I appreciate you and I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. All right, let's have a talk. Seems like the last... I want to say maybe four to five months. I have not been consistent. And there's been issues of downloads. There's been issue of family issues. There's been issues of uh, some shadow work that I needed to do. I want to say that to you. We're closing out this year. I'd like to start with a clean slate. And I want to give you what uh, was given to me for, I believe, all of us. I'm not the only one doing this work. And um, when I say this work, I'm, I don't mean this. I mean the inner work. And I think what's been happening is, how can I say this? You know, sometimes shadow work, which is meant to show you your shadow self, um, can be a hard pill to swallow. Okay, especially if you consider yourself a good person. If you ask anybody, are you a good person? Nine times out of 10, they're going to say yes and not really uh, uh, acknowledge or take accountability for who, what, where, when, why, and how. You understand what I'm saying? Unless you're talking to one of my Sag homies, because they'll tell you straight out if I like you. It depends. <laughs> All right. Um, seriously. Well, I'm talking about shadow work. I'm trying not to get away from my point, but that's the point that I'm making. When you're in shadow work, it's like, um, how can I say that? It's like your mind is, is so, it, it, it's, it gets easily swayed. It's like the poppy field that's on the side of the road for Dorothy. It, it, uh, I'm talking about the people that have really been trying to go within and deal with God at a basic level because I am completely tired of continuously failing or sinking or being blocked or stopped or plateaued. I am ready for my next level, for my next season. That that those These people are who I'm talking to today, okay? So nine times out of 10, uh, if you're a social media person, you've self-diagnosed with all kind of Ds and Hs and, and As, and R's and Q's and, and you didn't diagnose yourself 15,000 times with 15,000 ailments of a mental disorder because you can see yourself doing this. You can see yourself doing that. Oh yeah, I do bump into things when I walk. Oh yeah, I do kind of forget when I go in a room. Oh yeah, I do want to go out and want to stay in at the same time. You know, um, so all of that is a part of, as a spiritual being, um, your spiritual development. Sometimes it may be uh, downloads coming in. Sometimes it may be a purge going out, okay? But when you're in deep shadow work, it's both, and it's heavy and it's hard. It's hard. It's like you're depressed, but you're not crying. Or you're crying, but you're happy. Or you're happy, but you don't have nothing right. Like, it, it's weird. It's almost like multi-dimensional emotions, if, if there's such a thing, um, that you're experiencing at the same time. And what I've learned in this coming into this energy and with what I, I've been comparing it to kind of my own life, you know, with what the download I was getting, um, there is people who are, uh, who have this lifetime broken, uh, broken away from generational curses. There's people who have broken away from people, places, and things. Um, yeah, I want to say it like that. And uh, maybe your old, when I say your old self, it's another life. They're, um, it's kind of like a, a energy that you're working against. I, I don't know how to explain what I'm saying. It's like you're here, your old self is here maybe in a past, and but you're in the same, it's not the same space and time, but it's the same space and time in two different times. 
God help me with my words. I really, I'm, I'm trying to get you, give you a visual guys. So in, in this moment, it's like you can, if you're mirroring that old self, you already know where this is going because it's so heavy. You, it's like you can feel the the heaviness of the energy as well as the darkness of it. I don't think a lot of you were um, following godly ways or a godly path or a divine path before. The God was in you because it was always in you, but you may not have adhered to the message or to whatever was assigned. But this time you are. So it's a little different. It's like something's wrong. I just can't put my finger on it. I'm feeling something, but I just can't put my finger on it. And so you're starting to look at people, place, and things. But now that all of those people, places, and things have been removed and it's just you, it's more so like I know this feeling. It, it It's almost nostalgic. You, you know what I'm saying? And it's like you're feeling your own energy in another space and time. It, I know this sounds crazy. I, I I don't know how to explain that. So um, for those of you that are resonating with what I'm saying, this is for us. Um, if you're not, then this may not be your message, okay? But I have to go with this message today. So basically, that's uh, where I'm at. Uh, people who have been doing really, really deep internal shadow work, uh, people have, like I said, you may have been... Uh, feeling these energies and not being able to explain them, but knowing that they're in you, but they're not in you. They're around, but they're not like, it's weird. It's weird. So that's where I'm going with this today. Okay. Ooh. Nevertheless, I expect this to be a heavy one. We're pulling from the sacred rebel oracle for the collective guys. I'm going to try to call signs. You already know. Anybody has the ability to embody any energy at any time. Huh. Um, there's two. Okay, so there's. Okay, so there's two here. So, oh, okay, so let's do it like that. That's great. The old you, the new you. That's great. That, that'll work. That, that makes it easier for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's do the old you and the new you. So that's the old you. Okay. Oh, okay. And the new you. <laughs> All right. Yes. That makes it plain. I love it. I love it. All right. Old you, old dimension you, old past life you. Um, this is where we are. So I have number 41 and number 13 for the numerology studiers. Um, I don't know the planets. Don't do this to me. Uh, hold on, guys. I, I don't know what I'm seeing. Um, I don't know the planets. What do you want me to say? I'm going to say Mars, and I'm going to say, oh, God, what is the big one? Uranus? Uranus. Mars and Uranus? I don't know what that means to you. I'm not an astrologist. I'm, I'm going to keep this thing going, okay? I got to stay in my lane. Now, uh, number 41, we have bring this into form, and we have power of attraction, Okay, uh, with number 13. So these are both, of course, in reverse because in this state of your existence, that's what we're going to call this. So whether you want to call it a past life or the old you or whatever, it don't matter to me. However, you process in your 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 inner work. Okay, um, but you see, they're both in the reverse. So things weren't going into form because the work wasn't being uh, done. The the footwork wasn't being applied. You understand? Now, what we do have here is a lot of ancestral assistance. So the awakening was in place and the power was in place, but in the physical, it wasn't being, um, mm, mm. yeah, it, there was no physical movement. Um, almost as if you were, how can I say that? How can I say that? Um, no legs, almost as if you were, I guess had no legs. I don't know how else to say that. Um, there's literally somebody here with a thing over her, uh, her, uh, what, what, uh, ah, help me with my words over her legs, no legs or something like that. What, what, something you couldn't physically do. The work wasn't applied, but because of this, it affected, uh, the manifestation, the power of attraction. So uh, granted in the upright, the power of attraction is like-minded. It's, uh, shared it's you and, um, your angel, your ancestor, uh, the holy and divine, you and God, uh, working together to manifest. You understand? But it didn't happen because this didn't happen. This 
was tied to that. You had to be someplace at some time to meet up with this uh, connection to make whatever happened or that journey in your life or that elevation. Okay, moving on to this. Now, so here we are today right here. God darn, it even smells. This is so thick. It's like smelling through, um, how can I say that? Smelling through material, like smelling through material. But this smells so clear, like crisp, you know, so much more free. Spirals of manifestation, number 18. So the, 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 the what do you call it? The, um tornado, the whirlwind, uh, the spirals, you know, because it's dimensional that I'm trying to, God darn it, not right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I meant to turn that off. So I, that's what I was trying to explain before. It's like dimensional. Whatever happened to you in this life, whatever decision you made that you actually put work into, it's now layering or aligning layers of past people you were or past lives you had or past, uh, 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 say it again. Uh, uh, ooh. Okay. Let me stop saying past. I'm being told, um, uh, other connections. Let's say, let's say it like that. Other connections. All right. Woo. Where are we going with this? Follow your own rhythm. Nobody is going to understand. Nobody's, this is your journey. Nobody understands. Um, wow. Yeah. Nobody understands. Nobody's going to understand. Don't expect, even if you have aunt such and such that is gifted or, you know, somebody on YouTube, you know, sometimes if you, e if you emailing me talking about, I got a bunion on my left toe and I'm like, well, what, 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 but it's something to you. It's really for you to understand because it's part of your development. Okay. Don't be emailing me about no damn bunion. I ain't kidding. <laughs> All right, gosh, I missed y'all so much. You have no idea how good this feels to me. It's kind of like if you are a person that goes to the gym and then you stop going and then that one time you go and you get a good sweat, the endorphins and your spirit is just lifted and that's how I'm feeling right now. It just being with you. And I thank God for y'all. You have no idea how much y'all, your, your, your prayers just mean to me your your acknowledgement your validation because lord knows we in this thing together just know that we in this thing together all right i'm pulling from vision quest for a spread here yeah i'm gonna do a spread right yeah okay so i, I don't know i'm thinking if i have two energies i should i need two spreads but it, it, I can see it here. So I want to go with that. Okay, see it? it? Okay, 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 okay. So it's going to be a double down. All right, center energy. Um, old self. Old old self, center energy. Okay. All right, and integration. God darn. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. See the birds flying together? Things trying to come together. Temperance energy. Uh, if this was traditional tarot, Sagittarian energy. Um, right here in the center. I just, I've mentioned y'all because y'all keep it real. You keep it a hundred. I, I'm, <laughs> I ain't lying. I know a lot of people don't like you. Sometimes you get on my nerves too, but I love you. I ain't gonna lie. But this ain't, this angel of temperance, that angel is, appears in the middle of your journey. Uh, after your cup has been depleted or tainted, you pour it out and they pour into you for you to complete the remainder of your journey, um, working towards the sun had this been traditional tarot. But with the integration of this deck here, we're talking about the combination of, because the old you is still part of you. Now, granted, you might have done whatever or not done whatever, or hmm, uh, there's an allegiance. You pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. So, you know, maybe you did. Maybe you, like I said, you know, some people who are of God today, you weren't of God that one time. Okay. No judgment, no judgment, but there is an integration. So how do I take the old me, um, and the new and, and, and address the new me? Well, it depends on what you believe because the word teaches us, behold, all things become new, right? I'm just saying. Now, that does not mean that they didn't happen. They become 
new. To become, there has to be a transformation or integration, but it, it still creates new, you know? The flower in the water makes the dough, but the dough is still part of the flower in the water. I mean, I, I, <laughs> woo, come on, y'all. This is about to get deep. Hold on, let me take my sweater off. Forgive me, please. Mm. Yeah, that went through me. I don't have no business working with this sweater on with all this daggone energy here. All right, hold on. Whew. That went through me. So we're going to top this because we're doing old and new. So I'm going to put this here. And hopefully y'all following me with this energy. I have no explanation for it. You know when the format changes, it don't have nothing to do with me. I'm trying to be obedient, just like you, okay? But I think this is something that we need to know going through into uh, I'm trying to say the new year, but I'm here in the new equator and it don't make sense to me. So I don't know what that means to you, a new equator. I don't know how you're going to get a new equator, but okay. All right. Center energy for the current. Center energy for the current right here, right now. This is Nefertari, by the way. Hello. The boomstick. Ace of Wands. Shama, Lama, Mother Loving, Ding Dong. Can I stop here? Seriously, can I stop right here, right now? Ace of Wands energy. First of all, we're talking about fertile, birthing, life changing events, divine passion, creation, productivity, forward movement, given, gifted for the purpose of. If you're giving a staff or passion, it's for the purpose of. So understand, I'm talking to people that have already been assigned. Ooh. You know. <laughs> yes. Yes, my loves. Crown this energy past. Okay. So what was hanging over our head? Six of fire. Victory. It was always there. But crowning energy, even though it's accessible for it to be beneficial, you have to pull down from it. But the work wasn't put in. You understand? The, if the work is not put in, what's there for you, it's not there for you. Sa sa same thing with this six of fire. Okay? Six of wands energy. That's the reward after the battle. After the work is put in. After the game, you have the parade. You don't get the parade until the game is won. Okay, but the victory was always yours. Okay, that was that part was never in question. What's always been the struggle is the alignment. Mm. Shama Lama Ding Dong, crown the energy current, please. And the five of wands. So, this is the battle. <sighs> Crowning now is the battle because this is the shadow work that I've been talking about these last few months. You've been struggling. Each of these wands have, are probably a different representation of you in this time or another. However you want to see it or say it is okay with me, okay? Everybody's entitled to their process. But, but this battle right here is internal. It's internal conflict. So you need to pay attention to two things. One is that it's not always about like some things when, when things bother your spirit, you say, well, you know, I'm gonna give that to God and I don't have to do nothing. Right. Because that's a spiritual battle. Spiritual battle belongs, um, with the divine. We, um, are in the flesh, but you don't wrestle with the flesh. You wrestle with the print child. Let me pull it back. Hold on. We're talking about the five wands. I almost took that someplace completely else. All right. So let's say uh, I give it to God, right? Um, I don't know how I'm going to handle this. You know, I'm going to just give it to God. And that's it. It's done, right? Now, is it done? Will it work out? Eventually, probably, because you believe in God. But 
if you had an assignment that work was required for you to address, see, it's, he's not only, you know, uh, the alpha and omega, you understand, or, or whatever your belief system is, um, there's not good and bad, more so about, um, uh, God was also, uh, uh, is, uh, is a corrector. He's a disciplinary. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not talking about like things that are of the spiritual realm, but I'm talking about things that you might need to acknowledge, um, so that it can be not something that sneaks up on you later, something internal that can have no power over you later. Therefore, throughout this season, the work that you've been putting in, I was mentioning emotional changes, you know, and these emotional changes and feelings that you can't explain, but not ones that you, I know this, my soul made, and I'm not talking about these people. I'm talking about people that have been truly putting in the work for themselves and not being able to identify emotion and changes and noises that you're hearing um, that is familiar to you. That's the thing about this presence, this energy, it's familiar to you. And that's because it's a part of you at one point in your life or one day in time, but it's so close to you that it's freaking you out. It's the polarity is, is affecting you. If that makes sense. Um, so it needs to be dealt with because you're in a new, new, a new space, a new space. Okay. And what you're trying to do is not adhere to old habits. So address the fact that the, there was a habit or there's something wrong. Maybe in that season you were depressed, but you're not depressed now, but you're allowing the depression to make you depressed, even though you're not depressed. Do that make sense? Because it's contagious, like laughter, it's contagious. Crying, it's contagious. Um, regurgitation, it's contagious. You understand what I'm saying? That's the point that I'm trying to make, the, the contagion. Pay, pay attention to that, okay? Pay attention to that, because you don't want to catch it again. But you need to know that you're aware so you can continuously protect yourself from it. When you have in those moments, it's let me get away from this. Even if it's energetically, sometimes you need to get away from yourself. Okay. All right. Now in the past, what was working against us? What was undermining our energy? What was in the way? Chaos. God darn. In reverse. Woo. That's a tower and it's in reverse because of denial. When you put blood, sweat, years, and tears to build a tower, you're building a home, you're building comfort, you're building protection. Okay. Um, so when the lightning strikes and God says this tower needs to move because it's either built on a faulty foundation or it's blocking your path, sometimes we fight against that. We do, you know, it, you, I think with Aquarius is it broke my heart because I know a lot of them just moved and a lot of them have to move again. It takes a lot to get up and, and break your foundation and your, get out your comfort zone to get comfortable, to find out you got to move again. What you mean? You understand what I'm saying? But so there was a, t a tower built either with love or, or with where you were or what you were doing, but somebody did not want change. They were not willing to accept change. That may have been us. You know, there's nothing wrong with my life. You know, it ain't this, but it ain't that. I might not have this, but I don't have that. You get complacent, especially because some of you had a support system. Am I saying that right? Yeah, a supports like you didn't have legs, but somebody else had legs and no power. That's how this feels. I, I don't know what that means to you. Even if you didn't have legs, the, 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 your maybe you had a um, toxic partner or a toxic parent, but you didn't have legs, but they had no power. So the legs being gone, honestly, I think it was intentional to make you stay still so that they can continue to feed. 
that's a whole nother story, but I know that's familiar to you. Okay. But for whatever reason, you felt love here. And I know that's crazy, but I feel love like really all of a sudden and it's hollow. It's a hollow love, but it's love. I ain't gonna lie. Um, yeah. Mm. And when you, if, if you feel like you've had no love and you receive a hollow love for you is still love, even if you're in tune or you, you can still identify love, like, you know, love is love, but it's, you know, people will hurt you because they love you. You know, I'm just saying whatever it was, somebody didn't want to let go. Okay. Now, oh, wait, what's working against us today? Please. And thank you. What's working? Three of Cups and the Wheel. So, Three of Cups, I have to talk about people, places, and things. I have to talk about third-party situations that you've accepted. I ain't gonna lie, we talking, okay? But uh, I also have to talk about, uh, there's a lot of, um, I don't know if it's because it's uh, this time of year, there's uh, too much play, too much social, too much spending, something, okay? You said F it, I don't care, whatever. Ain't nothing happening no way, you know, with the wheel working against you. Wheel talks about motion, okay, motion. Now, others of you, I ain't going to lie, cause I, and I'm going to say it quick and I'm going to get off of it because I don't like this stuff and I don't like to talk about it. I don't know about it, but I respect it. Um, This is uh some kind of moodoo, moodoo, hoodoo, woodoo, woodoo, okay? I don't do, I don't do the mojo hojos, this is, but this is a mojo hojo to completely stop your flow, to stop your movement, to stop you from elevating, growing. The, that was always the point, to stop you the power of attraction that you have. I don't know who you have a connection to. I don't think you know who you have a connection to. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think you know this connection yet. I don't think you've, I, I think it's in you, but I don't think it's, you know yet. Um, but the mass awakening is because of a mass awakening, uh, a mass release. How can I, am I saying that right? Yeah. There's the mass awakening is, is because of a mass release. There has to be a counter. There has to be a preparation. And um, yeah, you needed to know that. Woo, where does this come? All right, so where this is coming from, Five of Pentacles. Five of Earth for this deck. So we're talking about insecurity. We're talking about poverty. We're talking about um, being counted out. You know, uh, we're talking about being separated, being isolated, being misunderstood. And that is a perfect breeding ground or an opening, an opportunity, a window for the enemy to sneak in and spoil your crop you know, which was meant to feed, which was meant to feed. And this time, past energy, and this time, past energy. The Hierophant, Taurian energy, elevation, growth, uh, hierarchy, institution, step by step by step, so much is here. Um, culture, church, beliefs, um, it's all, it's sideways because it's tainted. Everything here is tainted. I, 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 like, I don't even, it's all over the place. Um, yeah, it's all over the place. All of these things are all over the place in, in the past. But, um, you, you know, that, that I think this, man, this is going to be crazy. Um, uh, but you know, it, it's not denied, you know, you can't deny, how can I say this? What you, you can't deny, or it's still a part of you. That's what I say it like that. It's still a part of you. So if you grew up in one culture and you're switching over to another belief, that past belief is still a part of your belief system, you know? So it's still, you, even though you're learning a new way, you're, you're learning, behold, <laughs> Because all things become new, right? Okay, so hopefully in the future, we can get this energy to be in the upright to allow that growth because this, with this being topsy-turvy, it's like a one foot in and one foot out. 
one foot in, one foot out. But it still ties to this for me, um, even with the past energy, because it was like you, I don't know what, one foot in, one foot out. Like, wow. I wish I had an uh, example for what I'm, I'm trying to see here. I mean, I'm trying to... I don't want to say what I'm seeing. I ain't going to lie because it's weird to me, but I want you to, I want you to get what I'm saying. Um, if you did have a, a energy source or a energy vampire, or yeah, I think that's what they call them. Energy vampire, uh, a misusing, somebody is really misusing. <laughs> somebody was really misusing your um, abilities. Okay. And they did it right in front of your face and you just didn't know you just didn't know it was even as simple as a conversation because they knew you had the voice the 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 you had god's ear you had the power in the tongue and no matter what they said it didn't change but when you said it there was change if you could think of it like that so therefore they would engage you engage with you a low vibrational conversation you know, uh, for you to speak something into existence, kind of like using your divinity for a dark purpose. You, you understand? Using your divinity. So you still had the connection that was unbeknownst to you because you may have been feeling outed by your own people. But e even in this time, because you're 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 growing and you're you're you were learning, you know, five of earth energy and knowledge wise is completely different from the Hierophant. You understand what I'm saying? So in this time, you're learning about things, you're doing research, you're listening, you're dreaming, you're traveling, you've done all you're doing all of these things that like you're more in tune now than you have ever been in any of these existences. Um as far as the development or no knowledge of the different existences. There's been times where you were low vibrational and maybe high here or low here or whatever, however you want to say that. But to have the now the knowledge of the multi, that's a different kind of understanding. You, you, you understand? So mm, after this process, going through this process, it's kind of been hard to integrate. Okay, but you've been here before. And, but now at this time, you get the boomstick. You get the boomstick. The fight is acknowledging all of these things. And some of you, the fight is, is because of this awakening, because of the release, This there's this awakening. Some of you are kind of being fast forwarded through your, your like there's no time anymore, I'm sorry. Um, because there's been a release and that's a whole nother, that's not for a reading, but you, if you know, you know, okay. Where's this? Where did it go? Where did it go? So it led to loss, the five of water. It led to regret the shoulda, woulda, couldas. You know, how I wasted my time. But that was the whole point of the use of you to keep your strength and keep your connection, but not to but to keep you stupid or and, and just not know who you who you really are meant to be. You understand? That was always the plan. And that's what it led to loss. You know, it kept things in balance. But it was never in balance. The balance never led to you. But it, it you felt like you felt like I lost. But then I was like, okay, it, it, like you made peace with it. It's the God in you that is the God in you. You, you understand? I, I don't know how else to. I don't know how else to say that. It's the light that brings the light. Look at the mother of water, the the mother of love, the mother of emotions. It's the God in you. That that who else but God would make peace with so much torture and torment and denial and loss and poverty and sickness and sadness and betrayals and it got to be. <sighs> and guys, you know, there's no gender. This is all energy. 
I don't want to hear it. Future energy for this time. Future energy for this time. And the Four of Swords. So we're talking about contemplation. We're talking about reconciliation. We're talking about uh, learning. Uh, we're talking about decisions. We're talking about uh, just thinking things through, coming to terms with, okay, rest, you know, all of these things because, you know, the, the assignment, if you don't have it, if you don't know it, what it's coming, like, like uh, really, really quick, really, really, really quickly, my loves, if you don't know your assignment yet, it's, it's really coming in quickly, okay? Um, even if it's uh, an advice about this here, that's trying to work on my stomach right now, but the devil's a liar. Um, but yeah, you're going to get knowledge, information, assistance. That's going to expedite your development and then it's going to expedite time for you. Okay. Um, yeah, see, and there's your work that you're going to be putting in eight of wands, eight of pentacles, uh, all right, so we got some karma coming. I expect for you to have a moment of um, trying to, f of, of, of despair. I ain't going to lie. I, I expect that. I expect for all of us to have that. Because, you know, there was a time when people used terms like knowledge is power or the truth will set you free. I, I, I beg to differ. You know, um, truly, I beg to differ um, because it's going to feel like the more you know, the more imprisoned you are, the more trapped you are. And that's going to be a lie. OK, and how you're going to get out of that lie is the same way uh, you've been getting out of it by the God in you, Queen of Cups knowing that she has unconditional love, a uh, love of life, you know, uh, a producer of life, a feeder of life, the queen of cups, man. And she feels good on both decks, I'm telling you. Yeah, because you have a purpose. Yep. All right. Um, I'm not going deep into these because I think this is enough and it's already a lot. I do want to talk about three things I was given before that I didn't uh, tell you a couple of days ago. So, um, and I hate doing this because I don't think I'm just, I don't feel like I'm qualified, but I have to give you, it, I know it was March. Um, I can't remember now. What was it? March something. I know it was March. Oh, what was it? I don't remember now. March something. It was July 1st um, and October 25th. Okay. 1st or 14th? Yeah. July 1st or 14th, October 25th and a day in March that I can't remember. And it's almost playing over it. I'm trying to see the number and there's a playfulness over it. So it's already, uh, yeah, there's a playfulness over it. I don't want to, yeah, maybe the fourth. Why is it playing? I don't know what that is. I'm going to go with the fourth, but um, those are the three that I had. Um, I think everybody expects um, great changes. If you know, you know. Um Follow your own rhythm. Don't forget that part. Okay? Follow your own rhythm. Some things are not going to make sense. Some things are going to make sense and not feel right. And if it don't feel right, don't do it. Okay? There's nothing wrong with taking your time. There's nothing wrong with uh, not uh, answering or agreeing right away. There's nothing wrong with prayer meditation prior to. Pray over everything, every day. Yourself, your home, your children, your family, your journey. 
your food, your assignment, your businesses, pray every day. There has been a release. Unfortunately, that is quickening the awakening. And I, I don't know how else to say that. Okay. All right. Guys, I love you. I am, as you could see, working just like you are on myself um, in, in, in my journey. Because I've already confirmed this for myself. I ain't going to lie. You know, we we all, um, yeah. And the bad part is I'm not even afraid. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I, it's just, it's weird. I'm not even afraid. You know, I'm okay. And I want you to be okay. All right? All right. Um, if any event that you say, Green Eyes, I don't know you. I don't know what you're talking about. The, this wasn't for me. I, I wouldn't blame you. Shoot. I, I, I don't want to know the, what I'm talking about half the time. I ain't going to lie. Um, but please check your sun, moon, rising signs. Okay. Um, just don't take this energy if it's not yours. Leave it here. Okay. For someone else. Guys, uh, please, if you participate, have a happy holiday. And... Let's get to work, all right? Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.